One of the most effective ways to clean your home without using uh, synthetic antibacterial products is to use vinegar. So here's how to do it and here's what to use. You want to use a basic distilled white vinegar. You don't want to use red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar, or any other type because A, they could stain your countertops and the different things in your house, and B, because the distilled white vinegar will actually allow the smell to dissipate more quickly. So it means your house isn't going to smell like a big salad bowl when you walk into it. So distilled white vinegar is what you want to use. And then there are a number of different things that you can do with that vinegar. A vinegar on its own uh, naturally kills bacteria, molds, and viruses. So it could be used for disinfecting, deodorizing, cutting grease, and cutting wax buildup. On its own, it's a very strong disinfectant. So this is excellent for using on your cutting boards, particularly your wood cutting boards, or those boards where maybe you cut chicken, poultry, meat, things like that on it. Um, but to make a basic cleaner that can be used all throughout your house, just mix together distilled white vinegar and water in a 50-50 ratio. So uh, one part vinegar to one part water in a basic spray bottle. And this is going to be your all-purpose cleaner that you will use all throughout your house. You can use this to spray off your kids' toys, particularly after they've been sick. You can use it to clean your countertops, to clean your bathroom countertops. Um, to use it all throughout your house. Now, if you need a little bit more of a scouring agent, one of the things that you can do is sprinkle some baking soda down and then spray it with the vinegar and water mixture and scrub, and that's gonna help to scour and scrub the countertop as well as just get it clean. But here are a few other things that you can do with vinegar. Uh, to freshen a toilet bowl, pour in two or three cups of white vinegar, let it sit for a while, I mean, I'm talking maybe even an hour or two, then scrub it and flush it. And this is gonna make your toilet bowl shiny and clean and get rid of that ring around the bowl. Uh, for windows, spray or fill a spray bottle with water and a quarter of a cup of vinegar. This is gonna help to cut that slime and that grease that sometimes gets on the windows. It's also gonna make a nice streak-free finish. Of course, for the best finish on your windows, use newspapers instead of paper towels or chamois or anything to wipe and to dry with. Here's a little tip though. Once you've used those newspapers, you can still throw them in the recycling bin. So just because they're black and nasty from having wiped the windows with them doesn't mean they can't still go in the recycling bin. So a perfect second use for your newspapers is to use them on the windows and then still throw them in the recycling bin. Avoid streaks on your wood floors by adding about a quarter of a cup of vinegar to your bucket of water. So you don't need much vinegar. If you're only using a bowl, do about a tablespoon or two of vinegar with your water. And this is going to help your wood floors to not get too streaky. Uh, you can also add a quarter of a cup of vinegar to your machine, your washing machine's rinse cycle. This is going to help to rinse out the detergent naturally and can help you avoid the use of synthetic fabric softeners. So deter or, uh, vinegar, distilled white vinegar, can be used all throughout the house for everything from softening fabrics to getting a streak-free finish on your floors and your windows to being a strong disinfectant on your cutting boards and different areas in your house and then just being that basic all-purpose cleaner. Use it throughout your house to create a healthy home, but also a clean and a safe home.